So uh, here we go. We got this is called a flip flop. Democratic presidential hopeful John Edwards has now changed his tune on campaign financing and decided that he'll accept public money for his campaign. You'll recall earlier this year, Edwards said he would not do this because his fellow contenders would likely raise large amounts of private money and he would have to do the same in order to stay competitive. Now he has flip-flopped on that. Edwards says he changed his mind because of the influence special interests have in political races. Baloney. He's challenging both Clinton and Obama to do the same and they won't and here's why. They have raised more than double the amount of money that Edwards has raised in the first six months of this year and wouldn't you know, Edwards is trailing both Obama and Clinton in the polls. It is probably not a coincidence that the two candidates that have raised by far the most money are by far the front runners in almost all of the polls. That's Obama and Clinton. So the question we're asking this hour is what's wrong with our campaign finance laws? The answer is quite a lot, but I'm interested in some of the specifics ideas you have to fix it. And send your answers to Capity File, CNN.com, or go to CNN.com slash Capity File. You know, these campaigns are becoming more expensive every time we have one, Wolf, and until something is done, nothing is going to change this. And it just means that the influence of the big money crowd continues to grow in Washington, D.C., and the influence of folks like you and me, well, that's uh, book us. Uh, money talks, remember that commercial? Yes, I do.